so we've come to Fitz Village in Barbados to see some conservation in action. We are going to watch some baby hatching turtles being released into the ocean. Um, I believe there's like over 150 of them um, by the Barbados Sea Turtle Conservation, Barbados Sea Turtle Project. So we're going to go and watch that on me, Oscar, and it's going to be awesome. Conservation in action, guys. Mm. So let's go and have a look. Good evening. Hello. Oh.
charge. And after they've been in the Atlantic currents for about four to five years, they're about this big. So they go from about two inches to about this size. And once they reach this size, they then migrate back to land. So they leave the open ocean and they come much closer to land. And this is when their diet starts to specialize. Hawksbills feed on sponge, so they then start to eat sea sponge. They're not coming back to Barbados at this point. They're just going wherever they can find food. So they hang out there, and they're going to live at that source of bone for another 20 to 25 years. After that, they're about this size. So this is a shell of an adult nesting hawksbill turtle. And it is, well, after you guys can come and look at it and see if you want. Hawksbills can reach about 165 pounds and about 1 meter in length. So after about 30 years, those little hatchlings are going to be this size and this is when they're sexually mature and they're ready to nest. And that is when they're going to migrate and come back to Barbados to feed their eggs. The unfortunate thing is that there are a lot of threats. So only out of all of out of every thousand hatchlings that get to the sea, less than one will survive. We're releasing 128. There's a very good chance that none of those hatchlings will survive to George's size, far less survive to the size of this adult turtle. So one of the things that we do, one of the reasons why we are, as you might say, intervening because it is absolutely necessary that we get as many hatchlings safe to the water with uh, with the best chance possible so that we can have turtles maturing and coming back. What are some of the threats? Well, plastic is number one. Well, maybe not number one, but plastic is pretty high up there. From the time they're this size to the time they are this size, they are susceptible to eating plastic, plastic bags, um, bottle caps. We had a turtle show on a bottle cap once. I had a turtle wash up into the Korean edge ill, and that turtle had a plastic bag in its stomach, rubber bands, hair, a Hershey's Kisses wrapper, and all kinds of things. Plastic will choke them. They can also stick into their stomach, and it makes them feel full, even though they're not, and they start to death.
But in this particular situation, these hatchlings are from the sea. Anybody else? Or... Yes. <laughs> Alright, so no more questions? Great, so I'm going to go over the rules one last time for people who just Please do not touch the hatchlings. Right? Yeah. So I look really young. So what's going to happen if you're down by the water is that the waves are likely to push the hatch to up. If you are standing at the end, please make sure that you do not move once the hatch is out. All right, the other thing is no flash photography and no touching. And oh, and you guys are gonna like, we're almost done. After we leave the hatchling, we are with the we work with the Barbados Digital Project, which is a 24. Well, this is a conservation organization based at the University of the West Indies. We have almost 20 amazing volunteers that are some of you may have met them already. They are currently patrolling our beaches, they are doing saturation tagging on our index beach, they're manning our 24 hour hotline, responding to turtle emergencies. Uh, this last two weeks, we've had one turtle dead on the south coast on the boardwalk, one turtle trapped in the rocks that poked him down the road, one turtle trapped on its back in the drain just north of Green One turtle, two turtles in the warning uh, drain just up on the
Oh my goodness, no. Yeah. I'm just gonna get them. There's some still there, just trying to get out. Oh, there's some that need some help to get out the bucket. <laughs> He's scrambling around in the shadow. See, it's the first one. It's amazing. 129 Hawksbill turtles. He's turning around.
last one is on Miles. All right, they swim pretty fast once they hit the water. Swim or do they just get carried? Gonna put this in too. There's still one there. Still the last one. Come on, you little one. Come on, slow boat. Oh, yeah. Here he goes, here he goes. Oh, come on. 